Hello class 9th. Through this video, I am going to explain the second chapter that is elementary concept of objects and classes. So now let's start. So in the previous chapter, you have learned about object oriented programming and its principles such as data abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism and inheritance. An object oriented programming language not only concentrates on these features but also there are two more basic units present which are objects and classes. Okay, so now the first elementary concept is object. Okay, so now what is obje object? So object is a fundamental unit of object oriented programming. In object oriented programming, the task is broken into some components which are known as objects. Okay, objects are the basic elements of the object oriented programming system and also known as entities. Okay, so in uh, in object oriented programming such as in java language okay the programs are constructed using the objects okay so the objects can be further categorized into two ways okay the first one is real world objects and the second one is software objects okay so now i will discuss uh, each of uh, these uh, categories of objects okay in detail the first one is real world objects okay so the objects that we experience or use in our day to day life is called real world objects a specific item can be defined as a real world object if it contains the following features the first feature is it is visible to us as well as it has definite shape and size okay so there are uh, two categories of real world objects which are present in our surrounding okay the first one is living real world object and the second one is non living real world object okay bicycle car clock mobile computer aeroplane okay train etc okay as well as we can take the examples of living uh, real world objects like human being okay uh, student uh, as well as tiger cat okay uh, these all are the example of a living real world object okay so next one is each real world object contains two things the first one is characteristics and the second one is behavior okay so that we can say the meaning of characteristics is uh, the part of its body the part of the object's body or we can say the attributes and properties of any objects are known as characteristics of that object okay and whereas behavior means the purpose of its use or its function means the use or the function of any object are known as behavior okay next one is we can take the examples of a uh, real world object and then uh, we can see what are the characteristics and behavior of that real world object okay such as mobile phone okay so a mobile phone can be a real world object that possesses or we can say that contain some characteristics or attributes or properties and behaviors or we can say functions okay so now we can see here the characteristics of any a mobile object are the model number or we can see the model of that mobile phone the the style of dial pad of that mobile phone or we can say the applications which are installed in that mobile phones so these all are the attributes or properties or characteristics of that mobile phone okay and the next one is the behavior or we can say that the use of that mobile phone phone are it is used to talk it is used to browse internet as well as it is used for net banking 
okay so from this example we can observe that the properties and behavior of any real world object okay as well as we can take one more example suppose that uh, that is table okay we are taking table as a real world object okay so the characteristics of a table are it has a plain glass top it has four legs as well as it is made up of wood okay and the behavior or use of a table are it is used to keep copies and books it is used for study purpose as well as it is used to keep glasses and plates okay so by these examples we can understand the meaning of characteristics and behavior of any real world object okay so these are the uh, non living real world object now i am taking one more example of living things okay living uh, real world object okay suppose that there is a living real world object is a student okay so now the characteristics of a student are a student is identified by his name each student studies in a specific class as well as each student has been allotted a unique roll number okay so these are the different or we can say a set of characteristics of a students okay and the next one is the behaviors of a student object are uh, he or we can say c goes to school he or c appears for the examination he or c takes part in different competitions okay so these are the characteristics and behaviors of a student object okay now the second category of objects are software objects okay so what is software object a software object may be defined as an object that is created while writing the java program okay so here now we can relate uh, the characteristics and behavior of a real world object with software object okay so here the characteristics of a real world object is referred as data members in software object whereas the behavior of real world object is referred as member function or methods in software object okay so that means the characteristics and behavior of real world objects are referred to data members and member functions or methods of software objects representation okay a program does not deal with real world object just just focus in this point the program the java program does not deal with real world objects okay the program uses software objects okay let us relate a real world object with the software object okay so we can understand this concept by the help of this diagram okay so here we can see this is the real world object and real world object contains behavior okay and in case of software object this behavior is known as or we can say this be this behavior is referred as member methods or functions okay as well as real world object also contain some characteristics okay and in case of software object these characteristics referred as data members okay next one is software object is the unique combination of data and methods okay next one is let us have the uh, comparative study of uh, real world objects and software objects okay so here uh, we are taking two objects the first one is real world object that is book and the second one is software object that is student okay so 
in case of real world object that is book the characteristics of book are the chapters in that book number of pages in that book and the topics which are present in that book so these all are the attributes or properties of the uh, book object whereas the behaviors or we can say the use of uh, this real world object book are it is used to read as well as it is used to prepare notes the second one is software object that is a student okay so here we can see here uh, in real world object here is characteristics but in case of software object here is data members okay so what are data members so data members are actually the variables okay so we all know that what is the use of variables variables are used to store the values okay so here in case of students software object name subjects and marks are the variables or we can say data members okay and whereas behavior that means the use of this real world object and in case of software object here the functions or methods are behavior okay so here we have two methods the first one is accept and the second one is display okay accept method is used for accept the values of name subjects and marks marks data members okay and whereas display method is used to display the values of uh, name subjects and marks of student object as a output okay so here we can observe the comparison between a real world object book and the software object students okay the next one is message passing okay so an object can communicate to another object through methods or function which is better known as message passing okay so what is message pass passing whenever the objects are communicate or communicating with each other through methods or function that process is called message passing okay